हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिजवान यूसुफ वेलकम टू द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ पे पाल पेमेंट गेट वे इंटीग्रेशन इन ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एम यू सी दिस टूटोरियल इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ थर्ड पार्ट लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई विल स्ट्रॉगली जस्ट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट फर्स्ट फॉर द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल ओके वॉट वी सॉ इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड कंट्रोलर in our project we created uh, we added model classes in our project we add buy now button in our index view main view and uh, we added uh, checkout and card functionality we added how we can store um, our information card information in sessions variable and uh, we have done lot of stuff in last videos okay in this video in this video we will complete our pending work related to checkout functionality and rest of the work will be done in this video so let's get started and now we will add checkout controller in our project okay as you know we have paypal client class and in this class we have defined our attributes like mode client id client secrets and base url as well and this class paypal client we will inject this class in this controller checkout controller as dependency injection okay now in this action method index action method we will get the cart information which we have stored in the cart variable of session variable okay first we will get that information and, uh, and after that we will create a view on behalf of this action method and show that information on the view okay let's do it first we will get information from session into this card variable and that card variable we will store in view bag and we will multiply our price and quantity and get total amount and this total amount we will transfer from action method to our view so now we will create our view we will modify this empty view as first we will add a tag which is paypal button container okay and second we will add view bag value which is we are getting from our action method okay dollar amount okay this is dollar amount third we will add our script section okay
and in this script section we will add paypal sdk javascript sdk link as source as you can see okay and this is the id key client id key now we will run our code and we will check is it working as expected or not okay now we will click on our checkout button okay the code is working as expected and this is our amount now we will click on paypal button and make our transactions but before proceeding our transaction we have to add some more classes a piece of code related to paypal transactions paypal integrations paypal integration okay i will just copy and paste you can download the code in the description of this video okay i will copy and paste in this class okay these classes are required to make successful transaction with paypal okay i have added all the required classes in the paypal client class you can also download the whole code of this project with database i will provide the link in the description of this video we will make our transactions and after that we will see we will log in in paypal account and uh, we will see the transactions from there okay check out i will click on paypal account 